This video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. Hey guys, all right, so as promised, we are looking at the Vito Pro Pack. TP XL. First of all, I want to give a huge shout out to Vito. I deal with a wonderful lady there. I'm not going to say her name, but she knows who she is. I don't know if she wants her name out on the internet, so I'm not going to say it. She is a wonderful, wonderful woman. She has taken very good care of me for a very long time now. She always sends me the new products, or if I ask for something, she's great. So I want to give a huge shout out to Vito and to especially her. Last summer, I saw a picture floating around on, in one of the Facebook groups about this bag. Uh, somebody had posted a picture and said Vito, it said something like Vito's newest bag. I immediately contacted her and she said the bag was not out yet, that it was just a, it was like a, uh, a di not a demo, but uh, it was in the works, you know. And I said, well, when the bag does come out, I definitely want one. So the bag came out, and it, like always, she sent me one. She takes care of me like she always does. I've had several vetoes over the course of, since my YouTube career. Uh, when I started YouTube, that's when I was introduced to Vito. I've had several vetoes over that time period. I've liked them all. Vito makes fantastic products. But my issue with them was one was always a little too big or a little too small or not that it was too big or too small. I just didn't like the layout. When I saw this picture floating around on Facebook, I knew that I was going to like this bag. And I absolutely love this bag. It has been my favorite veto so far to this, you know, I mean, it, it, it's my favorite. So we're going to get into it. Um, the reason that I like it so much is just because of the way it stands up and the flap door. Yeah, and we'll get into that, but it has definitely been my favorite Vito. I thoroughly enjoy using this bag. Now this bag is, is service based. I don't do change outs with this bag. This bag is service based. So you starting off, you've got a nice big shoulder strap here that goes up. This looks like a tape clip. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, but I don't put it here. My tape is usually over here with my electrical tape, but it's not there right now. But that's usually where it's at. So we'll start on the outside. I have a thermos, a multi thermostat screwdriver. I'm not going to pull all my tools out and you know, a couple long six inch quarter and five sixteenth and then I have the medium reversible. I need to get the uh, six inch reversible. My meter hangs on the side with a D ring because that's just the way that I like it. And with this bag, if it really doesn't have room to stuff a meter in it, which is absolutely fine with me. So you've got two zippers, one here and one here. And then this Velcro flips up. This is why I like this bag so much is because of just the way it sits and you can see your tools. You have pockets here, down in here. That's where I keep, uh, we have a lot of locking caps in the area. So this is a multi locking cap tool. The extra caps are down in here. And that's where I keep my multi-stubby. I've got jumpers in here, uh, a low voltage short tester tool in here, the short pro tool. And so you got pockets here, two pockets here, and then down in here. And then just, I mean, look, I mean, my, my drill goes right in there. I've got my zip ties that I keep. And you know, just basic service stuff. I'm actually missing a tool now that I look in here. 
Oh yeah, I know where it's at. So right here, I normally have my HVAC 8-in-1 from Klein. This is a reversible 5 sixteenths. You flip it around, it's quarter. And a wet bulb thermometer, strippers, needle nose, side cutters, crimpers, an 11 32nd uh, nut driver for condenser fan motors, a pair of channel locks, a crescent wrench. I highly recommend this crescent wrench. This is an 8 inch crescent, but this thing opens up extremely wide. I mean, look at that. You can open up an inch and an eighth service valve or a 7 8 service valve, no problem with this little wrench. So I keep that in there. Yeah, so you got pockets on the side. That's where the wrench goes. Got a service tool just sitting in there. Um, two pockets on the side. And up here, I keep my nylog. But you can put other stuff up here. And it also has a hook in here. If you, you know, let me see. There's the hook. Like if you're going up some stairs and you need to hang the bag. Now look guys, just because this is the way I lay my bag out doesn't mean you have to lay your bag out like this. This is just the way that I prefer to lay my bag out. Not saying that you have to lay yours out this way. There are so many different ways you can lay this bag out, it's not even funny. So, like you take, you take the next part that I'm about to show you. You know, I've seen the NorCal Dave, he did his a little different. And that's fine, but this is the way I prefer to do mine. So up here, up at the top here on the flapper, you know, you, you open it, and right here you have a zipper. Now NorCal Dave, he kept a small parts dish in here. I keep my core tool in there and some extra Schraders and stuff like that. That's just what I prefer, okay? So we'll flip that down. We'll spin it around. And this is the back side of the bag. Okay. So you've got this, and then you open that up, and you have another large pocket right here. Now, NorCal Dave would keep his iPad back here, and that would be great. But I keep my two stub gauges, my low pressure stub gauge. And then the high pressure stub gauge and I keep my parts dish back here because I have a large large parts dish this one won't fit in the zipper but I love having a good a good size parts dish so I chose to keep that in here now if you are using it for an iPad or something and you can't get to it you set it down in the center there and you pull this and you see it'll it'll lift up whatever you have in there and then it'll go back down so it's a very nice and then I take my one stub gauge and I drop it down low in there and then this one I kind of just you know finagle it in there and then velcro it back and that's how I like to do the back of mine you have Electrical tape clip and again, this is where I normally keep my tape my measuring tape, but it's not there right now And you know, and you have more pockets here That I'm not even using because again, I'm keeping this bag very simple Very basic for service More pockets here another tape clip here if you choose there's another uh, Tape clip and again, there's a tape clip here, but I would never keep a tape here and uh, oh, and I forgot you got a very nice handle, you know, uh, really sturdy handle. It's it's not a heavy bag at all, which is which I really like. Um, but this is it, to me, it's just something about setting my bag down and see the other vetoes. You unzip them and, and, and they flap down this way, and that always got in my way. So the fact that this thing flips up. And I'm sitting at a condenser or an air handler or a furnace or whatever. And I got my tool bag right there standing straight up. And I can see my tools. That's what I like about it. 
the 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 smaller Milwaukee fits in here perfect. This is the small, the new M12 uh, impact driver fits right in there perfect. Again, I could fit many more hand tools in here, but I choose not to because I I choose to keep my little M12 right here. So again, there's many ways you can lay this bag out, but this is the way that I choose to do it. And I've got my service tool just laying right there and that's it. I flip her down. She Velcros, a zipper there, and a zipper there. Well guys, I think that's about it. I really hope uh, that was a help and you enjoy the video. I love this bag. It, 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 I knew when I saw the pictures I was gonna like this bag. You have all the durability of a normal Vito. Uh, it does have the, the plastic bottom. That is there. There is only, I really don't, the only, I guess, and to me it's not a negative. Because it, it could be like this with any bag. But I guess somebody's going to say, God, you didn't have anything negative to say. Again, not really negative, but if you wanted to classify it as negative, this bag will tip over relatively easy. Okay. It, it, now, if you're on level, like it is right here, it won't. Or so, as long as you're on solid ground. But it, if, if the ground is a little off level, it will tumble over relatively easy, especially when you have the flapper open. I did notice that. But I can always find me a nice level spot. Or once I flip it up, I lean it against the unit or against the wall of the house or something. Definitely not a deal breaker for me. But if you had to classify some kind of negative, it does tip over relatively easy. Other than that, I have no complaints. Anyway, thank you again to Vito ProPack. Huge shout out. And a huge shout out to the young lady that takes such good care of me. I would love to say her name, but I don't know how she would feel about that. So I'm not going to say it. Um, but you, I know you're watching this video and I know that, you know, you know who you are again. Thank you so much for being so good to me. She actually sent me something else and we're going to share that in a different video. So thank you so much Vito and to the young lady that takes care of me. Uh, guys, look, I recommend this tool bag 110%. If you're in the market for a new tool bag, even if you've got Vito products and you want something really service friendly, man, go get you the Vito. TPXL. It's, it, it, it is, I've been using this bag for, I don't know, it's been a, 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 about two, three weeks now, maybe, maybe longer since she sent it to me. And I am just in love. I really like it. Thank you again. Thank you all for watching. Check out Vito Pro Packs. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.